This is Twit. First question comes in from Mark, who has written in and says, I have been trying to create a shortcut on my iPhone to toggle between iPhone speaker setting, which I use at home for answering calls as my default setting. I need to switch it to the automatic setting when I'm in my car using CarPlay to be able to make or answer calls without having to manually go through the iPhone settings menu, which is of course in accessibility, touch, audio routing. It could be a simple shortcut to just manually toggle from speakerphone to automatic or from automatic to speakerphone. It would be really nice if I could automate the shortcut so when I leave the house and enter my car, it would change to automatic and then vice versa when back at home. Something tells me that all of this may be a little too much to ask for. So Mark is talking about a setting in the iPhone that lets you choose from where your audio comes. So you can have it uh, play out as a speakerphone. You can have it go into, if you've got something Bluetooth connected, <clears throat> and that all changes uh, based on it, it, it's sort of an automatic setting uh, by default. And the automatic setting tries to be smart about how the call audio gets routed. But people have issues with that. And so I have had issues with that myself. The way that you access it is by going into uh, settings on your iPhone and then going into accessibility and then going into believe it or not, touch of all things, and then going into call audio routing. And you can see that right now I have it set to Bluetooth headset. It can be set to Bluetooth headset, to speaker, or to automatic. And it says, call audio routing determines where audio will be heard during a phone call or FaceTime audio. You can also set it to auto answer your calls so that if a call comes in, it will, yes, automatically answer it. Yikes. Um, I have never turned that feature on because I never want to answer phone calls in the first place. But uh, you, if, you, if that's something you want to turn on, you absolutely can. In any case, um, in the past, I have always changed it as it is here from automatic to Bluetooth headset. And what that does is it makes sure that when the call comes in, um, that is where the sound is going to be coming from. Okay. So what Mark was talking about, though, is wanting to be able to have this happen automatically. Now, unfortunately, this is not something that Apple has provided access to in shortcuts as a means of being able to change this setting. So you can't just create a shortcut that pays attention to your location. And when you change locations, it goes ahead and adds uh, or, or just switches to a different call audio routing setting. However, there's something really cool that has happened over time. And that is that a uh, developer has figured out that almost every single one of Apple's settings pages is able to pick up on, uh, or rather is able to be accessed via a link. And so if you want to access a specific page within settings, you can do it through a kind of deep rooted link. So I want to show you this page. If you're watching the show, uh, there's a GitHub that actually has all of the information um, listed here. And you can see that this is uh, a, a GitHub repository. But what I want to do is go into settingsurls.md. And if I go into settingsurls.md, I can see that each of these pages has a URL after it called, it starts with prefs and then a colon, and then has a bunch of information. So if I want to access, for example, cellular, cellular data options, that is stored or that is accessible via prefs colon root equals mobile underscore data underscore settings underscore underscore ID and path equals uh, cellular underscore data underscore options. It's a lot of nonsense um, as far as kind of trying to understand what it all means. But what it does mean is that many pages within settings are able to be accessed via that link. And it also means that you can set up a shortcut to go to those pages. So what you do is you have to um, actually create a shortcut. So what we're going to do is we are going to launch the shortcuts app and we are going to hit 
the plus icon in the top right corner. And we are going to uh, just type in open URL. Um, we'll tap on open URLs, which is the first option. And then we are going to uh, go back to that page and find the setting for call routing audio. So let's head over to that page and we can do um, with a little bit of movie magic, I will uh, look up what that accessibility setting actually is. So we can scroll down or find accessibility on this page and we can look for the setting that is for call audio routing. So we kind of scroll through, we've got accessibility voiceover, we need to go to accessibility touch and then we find, okay, there's assistive touch, there's call audio routing and the root uh, page. Then what we do is we simply take this link here, this URL, we copy it and we paste it into our open URLs section right there. And so now it's, it's made available to us and I can tap done. And then what I would do is I can double, or I can tap on the three dots for this um, shortcut and I can hit share and then I can save it uh, to add to my home screen, which is what you would do, Mark. And then at any time on your home screen, you could tap on this. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it from within here, just so you can see when I tap on it, it takes me immediately to that call audio routing section. So it saves you a whole heck of a lot of taps. Now, if you wanted to get a little fancy, Mark, what you could do is get a little NFC chip and you can put that little NFC chip into your uh, car and you can set up a, uh, a, a an automation within your phone that when you tap on that NFC chip, then it automatically runs this shortcut for you. And so then if you wanted to, that could be your way of getting to this page instead of just hitting the app tile on the home screen. Personally, I think hitting the app tile is enough. You can also set this up to uh, trigger based on whether you are entering or leaving a location that is also possible. But Again, I really do feel like the best option here is simply to uh, create this shortcut and use it that way. If you enjoyed what you just saw, well, there's more of it. It's all over at twit.tv or just click in the description and you can get links to this very episode.